Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to answer the question, what is the decimal equivalent of 5 eighths? And we're not going to be using a calculator. Feel free to pause the video and give this a shot on your own if you would like. Otherwise, let's jump right into it. Now when we convert a fraction to a decimal, we can do this by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. So for 5 eighths, we can set this up as 5 divided by 8. And now we can go through the division process. So we have 5 divided by 8. How many whole groups of 8 in 5? How many 8s in 5? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. Once we have that decimal and the zero, we can bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And now we can think of this as 50 divided by eight. Although this is still technically five here, we have 5.0, which still equals five. We're not changing the value of anything here. We're just using that placeholder zero in the tenths place in order to work through the division process. So how many whole groups of eight in 50? How many eights in 50? Well, six. That gets us to 48. And we need to put that six above the zero since we used that zero and thought of this as 50. That's going to line us up correctly. Now we multiply six times eight, is 48, subtract 50 minus 48 is two. Now we don't have a clean cut zero there at the bottom, so we can continue on by using another zero that we can bring down. And I'm actually going to extend the division bar here as well. So now we have 20, 20 divided by eight. How many whole groups of eight in 20? How many eights in 20? Well, two, that gets us to 16. Multiply, two times eight is 16. Subtract, 20 minus 16 is four. So we still don't have that clean cut zero there at the bottom. So let's use another zero that we can bring down. And now we have 40, 40 divided by eight, which is five. So we put five up here, multiply five times eight, 40, subtract, 40 minus 40 is zero. So now we have that clean cut zero there at the bottom and nothing else to bring down within our problem. So we are done. Five eighths equals 625 thousandths. So let's write this over here. Five eighths equals 0 0.625, 625 thousandths. Now you'll notice when I rewrote that answer, I put a zero in the ones place to show that we don't have a whole number here. This helps us recognize the decimal and see that this is not 625. So just something to keep in mind when you see that. So there you have it. There's the decimal equivalent of 5 eighths. So whether you're studying for a test, learning this in class, just looking for a problem to solve, or whatever the case may be, I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.